Hey guys, Albert here with Windows Area, the best German Windows magazine on this planet. In this video, I'm going to walk you through installing Windows 10 ARM on either a Lumia 950 or 950 XL, whichever of these phones you happen to have. Before I start though, I want to give credit where credit is due. This project has been made possible by several developers like Gustave Mons, Jose Manuel Nieto Sanchez, Heathcliff47 and many others, who have worked tirelessly to bring this to life. If you can, you should definitely show your support to those people by donating via PayPal. You'll find the links to everyone's PayPal me page in the description below. Now let's actually start with what you'll need for this. You will need a Lumia 950 or 950 XL, a Windows 10 PC, and of course a USB Type-C cable. In case you have any questions or aren't really sure whether you should do it, please watch the video until the end and then comment. First we need to prepare all of the files we need to install Windows 10 on ARM on these smartphones. Therefore you'll need the operating system, which you can get from a site called AdGuard. You will find all of the links I talk about in the description. Now go to this site where you can select your operating system. I am using the latest build of the Windows 10 October 2018 update, but you can also use a newer or older build if you want to. Be aware though that every version of Windows comes with its own issues as this is still very much unsupported hardware. So be especially careful if you want to use Windows Insider builds. When you get the hang of it, you will eventually be able to try different versions anyway. Also make sure to always select the ARM64 version of said operating system. Don't get this wrong, ARM64 is the one to go. I then go ahead and select Windows 10 Pro as the addition and regarding languages, you're free to use whatever suits you best. With the type of download, you have to use Download ISO Compiler in one click. After selecting this, you'll get a .cmd file on the right side, which you need to download and run. After running the file, don't forget to confirm administrative privileges for it. This command line tool will download a Windows 10 ARM ISO file for you. Meanwhile, we can continue with the next step. You will need to download a few files and programs as well, those being the Windows Phone Internals tool, the Windows on ARM installer and the core packages zip file. Extract the Windows Phone Internals tool and the Windows on ARM installer to two separate folders on your desktop, but leave the core packages as they are. Now we can really start with the work on our phones. Open the Windows Phone Internals tool, connect your Lumia 950 or Lumia 950 XL to your PC, and select Unlock Bootloader in the left column of the program. If your phone is correctly recognized by your computer, you will be prompted to boot the smartphone into flash mode. Confirm this with OK. After your phone has been booted into flash mode, you select Download in the Windows Phone Internals tool. There you'll have to scroll down to Model, where your product type and product code should already be filled in by the program itself. Now just select Download All and wait for them to finish. You will need those files for unlocking the bootloader and in the top part of the download section you will find the path on your system where those files have been downloaded to. Now we need to go back to unlocking the bootloader. Scroll down under Secure Boot Unlock V2 section and first select the FFU and then the EDE file you just downloaded. When that's done, you can click on Unlock. Of course, you must not disconnect your phone during this process, but you should definitely pay close attention as you will be asked to reboot your phone manually once. The Windows Phone Internals tool will tell you that you need to manually reset your phone, which means you'll have to reboot your Lumia by pressing and holding the on-off button until the phone vibrates. When the process is finished, your smartphone will boot into Windows 10 Mobile just as it usually would. The tool will tell you if the unlock has been successful or not. If this has been the case, the next step already is to install Windows 10 ARM on your Lumia. Leave your smartphone connected and go to manual mode inside the Windows Phone Internals tool. Here you'll have to select the mass storage mode, which will launch your smartphone into a mode where all of the system files and partitions can be accessed. Your PC may prompt you to format one of those newly found disks and you must not do that. Else you may severely damage your phone or even brick it in a way it won't be recoverable anymore. So don't format anything while your Lumia is connected in mass storage mode. Now to the final step. Launch the Windows on ARM installer and select the advanced tab. There you'll have to open the core packages zip file you downloaded earlier. After those files, which contain the drivers for Windows 10 ARM, you need to go back to Windows Deployment. Now select the phone you have, either a Lumia 950 or 950 XL, and select the install.wim file. To get to this file, you need to mount the Windows 10 ARM ISO we downloaded through our command line tool in the beginning of the video. After the ISO has been assigned a drive name in Windows 10, select Browse in the Windows and ARM installer, go to the newly mounted ISO file, navigate to Sources, and in this folder you will find the install.wim file we're looking for. 
Now we're ready and you need to click on full deployment. The installation process takes quite some time and it is not unusual to take a full hour to complete. Just be patient, leave your smartphone connected to your PC and wait until it is done. The tool will let you know when your installation of Windows 10 ARM is ready. You'll need to manually eject your phone like a USB drive in order to really make sure no harm is done to your device. And then you can press and hold down off button to restart your phone. Eventually you will reach the boot menu of Windows 10. The first boot process may take up to 30 minutes and it is very usual that it ends in a blue screen. Just manually reboot the phone and eventually you should be greeted by the OOBE screen. So here's a quick FAQ in case some things aren't clear. Should you do it? Probably not. Especially if you own a Lumia 950. It honestly is like a pretty bad idea. Currently you just can't really do anything and on the Lumia 950 XL it's kind of a different game, as this phone already has Wi-Fi and GPU drivers. So you can browse the internet, you can download apps and updates, or even try to run a few desktop programs. Performance will be pretty slow as you can expect. But I have to say one thing. Usability of full Windows 10 on a 5.2 inch screen has been surprisingly good. If you set Windows scaling to 175% and use the device in tablet mode, it looks just fine. As if Microsoft has actually optimized the interface of Windows 10 to run on such small hardware. Maybe they even did, who knows. You cannot really use Windows 10 ARM as a daily driver, as there's so many problems, including charging the device. As of this moment, your Lumia 950 or 950 XL is not being charged while in Windows 10. You either have to dual boot into Windows 10 Mobile or use a wireless charger. Despite being connected to a power outlet, your phone's battery will drain. If something goes wrong, you should be able to flash Windows 10 Mobile back to your phone using the Windows Phone Internals tool and the standard FFU file downloaded during the bootloader unlock. Boot the phone into flash mode, select flash inside the tool, and go to flash original FFU. If this can save your phone, probably nothing will. So of course there's a little bit of risk included, as you can probably imagine. If this video has helped you, please give us a thumbs up, or even subscribe to our channel. Be aware though that we usually produce videos for the German speaking demographic. Thanks again to the developers who have made this project possible, and to you, our viewers, for watching our video. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.